sugar and spice, and everything nice. All in one little confined space called my blooming alley. It's all happening within this space. Seeing as it's a tight squeeze, let me show you around the best I can. But what you're looking at right now are my Lelia Purparatas. However, <laughs> we're going to start with what's going on up in the lofty heights with regards to the mounts. It is a sensational show. So I still have my beautiful Dendrobium unicum, even though the blooms are now lagging and going over. Beautiful tangerine and apricot fragrance. Yes, still permeating the air. My Dendrobium cerola, even though she's not fragrant, she is blooming beautifully as well since she's gotten separated from her community mount with the Aphilum, and I have clean blooms. That's a first and I'm loving it. A little bit concerned about the leaves I'm losing on one of the canes. I'm just hoping it's one of the older canes, but the rest doesn't look to be suffering and there are a few more buds to come and still another cluster of baby buds on the way. <laughs> Gotta love me, Sarah. I'm sure she's happy that she's now independent of everybody else. <laughs> and what can I say when we speak of sugar and spice? Vanilla being a spice. We've got sugar and spice beautifully combined in the Dendrobium bensonii. If my eyes are not going cross-eyed and I'm not seeing double as I counted the blooms, I've got 26 blooms. That's the first on the patio. If it were a little bit sunny today and I took the mount off and put her into the sunshine, these blooms would also sparkle, just adding to that whole magical touch of pure white with that fantastic, fantastic egg yolk colored center of that lip. And yes, she smells like sugar vanilla. Incredible. Everything nice in my book is my Dendrobium Victoria Regina. This is her third flush of blooms this year in 2023. Her second flush showed me the other variety of the Dendrobium Victoria that I have on this mount. Yes, I've got three different ones, even though I only bought two plants. But the third one, the third variety is blooming again right now. It's that deep, rich one that I have and oh my God, Goodness, I am so, so happy. Even the oldest canes that have never bloomed, they have one bloom each as well. And it is the dark one. Now, I'm not saying that in future I'm going to have this dark color on the older canes, but it's lovely to see that quite a big part of the two Victoria Reginas that I initially bought and are mounted on this mount, a huge chunk of that is the deep, rich purple one with the little white spots at the end that I always akin to puppy tails with their little white spots. I cannot tell you how thrilled I am at the performance of this orchid this year. And I have a Rapiculus Lelia in bloom as well. And that is Rapiculus Lelia Briegeri. Big long spike going towards the light with three beautiful blooms. They've been open now approximately 10 days. I'm seeing the first one getting a little bit tired, but still it is wonderful to see that this one actually bloomed again. Super duper happy with it. And as we move on, we can go to the left and we can see another little Rapiculus Lelia back in bloom. I've got two blooms of my Lelia Giuliani. I had three buds. Uh, yeah, well, I think Amelia Bug actually took out the third bud that had just started to open and it was all looking very promising. And then one morning I woke up and it was all a little bit shriveled and brown. So took that off and made sure to protect the rest of the spike from Amelia Bugs. Very cute, happy to see her back in bloom with a much longer spike than she had when she first bloomed. So this is promising, I love the progress. And I cannot get past my beautiful Epidendrum Parkinsoniana with two blooms that take over the lemon fragrance at night. <laughs> so whether it's day or night, I come out here and I've got, oh, I just can't tell you how wonderful it is to be in the blooming alley at this point in time. I'm hoping that you are getting a sense of what I've got going on. Like the video for a moment, if you don't mind. There's still a lot more to see and for me to describe the fragrances, etc. So go ahead and like that video. And if you haven't subscribed, please, please do so. That would be so appreciated. But yeah, I'm really pleased about the Epidendrum Parkinsonianum because yeah, she went through a radical re 
three pot earlier and it has to be done because normally when she is in bloom for approximately three months that is also when at some point she starts to grow roots so you've got this dangling orchid in bloom you don't want to mess up the blooms you've got new root growth oh the timing to get this orchid repotted yeah i didn't have new root growth so it's all a little bit up in the air i was very very concerned throughout that repot but at least we got two blooms the other lead did not bloom for us this year <sighs> i'm just grateful for what we've got i cannot go on and on enough about my catliantha white bridal snow white these blooms have now been open a good part of three weeks they still look pristine and they still smell divine I've still got gardenia and that beautiful La Dama de Noche, Lady of the Night fragrance in the blooming alley. And she is fighting with the Bensonia for attention. As I walk through the middle of my blooming alley, the two of them are just like, smell me. And the other one's going, no, smell me. But smell me, I only just opened. The other one's going, I am about to go over. Better smell me first because I won't be around that long. <laughs> it's just wonderful. The senses are being challenged in the most amazing way. I have absolutely no complaints at the moment. And then we're down to the candidates of the Cattleya purpuratus. I've got the striata that has this beautiful, rich, dark fuchsia with the striata, you know, the lines and the flares on her petals. I love the shape of these blooms. I'm very partial to evenly shaped blooms that have a star shape about them. And the presentation this year is sensational. They are fabulously spread out. I did nothing except light training to get the buds to bloom the way they're blooming. Each bloom has its own space. Nobody is crowding each other out. And the fragrance of roses is intense. Next to her, I've got Lelia Purpurata variety Beckhäuserie in bloom with a wonderful vintage kind of purple throat. It is delightful. With that beautiful vintage colored throat, vintage purple, I love the combination up against the pristine pure white of the petals and sepals. This presentation is a little bit more crowded, but hey, I am not knocking one off so the other two have more space. <laughs> she really has this delicious fragrance of cream lemon sherbet. And the cream is the one that I want to emphasize. If you can imagine a creamy, decadent dessert that is rich in heavy cream, that is sweetened, and then with a hint of lemon. And I had to put them on the lower shelf because I really want to be able to distinguish each fragrance of the orchids I currently have in bloom. I am that spoiled for choice. I don't want any to intermingle. And still in bloom is my Epicatlia Rene Marquez crossed with Thimarandra Imarginata. When she blooms, her blooms last an age. So I'm hoping to get this one back up to speed with her blooming and her generosity of blooms. It's just that, well, she needs more light during the winter months as the orchid is resting before pushing the spike, which I cannot provide. So that is what's going on in the blooming alley at the moment. You can imagine I'm totally thrilled with all the senses I'm being challenged with here. It's just fabulous to be here. It's just a wonderful space at the moment. <laughs> We've got so many other orchids in Spike. Soon other fragrances will join in on the blooming alley, but I will show you those maybe in a separate video if you just want to have a look at what's in Spike, who is pushing buds, and who will soon be in bloom. Let me know in the comments if that is of interest to you. In the meantime though, I hope you enjoyed a little look-see and thank you so, so much for joining me in the tight squeeze that is my blooming alley. Have yourself a fabulous day. On that one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care, bye.